Having the signs of a life well lived on your face is never a bad thing. Hello, welcome back to my channel where today I want to talk about the discourse around wrinkles and fine lines. While this discord has existed for a very long time, I feel like TikTok has really made it very obvious. TikTok users just seem very obsessed over wrinkles and fine lines, with some users really trying to avoid them, others making fun of people for having them, and others just discussing why you shouldn't worry about them, which is what I'm going to do today. And while I discuss it, I am going to be doing my makeup just to give me something else to do and give you something more interesting to watch. Makeup wise I'm going to start out with primer this is the elf power grip primer and I'm just going to put it all over my face starting with the underlying reality of this trend insecurities are created to sell products and that's why these trends are perpetuated on apps like TikTok TikTok especially recently has really become a sales platform I can't scroll for more than three posts without getting an ad or someone saying that you can buy the product they're using on their TikTok shop and in my opinion skincare is one of the easiest products to sell because people are so much more used to being perceived a lot more than they usually are so they really want to look their best all the time. I also believe that people are a lot more impulsive than they used to be because of how quick social media is. I also believe it's a very good product to show in a very short amount of time because you can make your skin look very glossy without really doing much to it. Like this primer has made my skin very shiny. But there's no skincare on it, hasn't got any long-term benefits, it's just the coat of the primer. And because it can really be made to look really nice, I think it's more likely for someone to impulse buy it. Makeup-wise, I want to go for a purple look today to match my outfit. So I'm going to start out with my Bright Matte Palette from Beauty Bay. And I'm going to go with my favourite purple, which is this one here, which is called Purple Power. And then to blend out the edges, I'm going to go with my Tiny Sugar Pill palette and use the light purple in here, which is this one. It's called Player One. As I touched on in the intro, whether wrinkles are good or bad is purely perspective. For me, I've always loved the look of wrinkles because the people in my life who meant the most to me when I was a child always had wrinkles. For example, my dad has very prominent crow's feet, which to me just make him look like he's always smiling and like he's had a very happy and fulfilling life. So therefore, I personally associate wrinkles with happiness. But for other people, I think specifically for younger people, these figures in their life have significantly less wrinkles because they were raised in a generation of Photoshop and on-screen perfection. I don't think either perspective are bad. They only become bad when they start causing insecurities. In school, I had PSHE lessons where we actually looked at Photoshop and I was always taught that wrinkles were imperfections. That's how they were spoken about on these videos showing the Photoshop. They said they photoshopped to get rid of imperfections and that viewpoint was never challenged during those sessions. So while I grew up liking my dad's wrinkles, I also grew up thinking of those wrinkles as imperfections and not as a normal thing that people have. That's why personally I really like the phrase everyone is human because it creates a normality around the signs of human life and how people live their lives. Whereas phrases like nobody's perfect or everyone is perfect Perfect. There's always going to be people who try and find the imperfect version, regardless of how you say that phrase. And I think that just leads to people getting more and more insecurities. And that's how I was raised. I was raised thinking that people are perfect, but at the same time, people have imperfections and they kind of clash with each other. And I think that's just too confusing for specifically young children, like I would have been a young teenager at the time, to understand and really wrap their head around. Because the words just don't quite work together, especially when you call things like wrinkles and fine lines imperfections. So my eyes are all done and I'm really happy with how they turned out today, but I think I'm going to add a little bit of detail with some black eyeliner. I just want to do a little bit at the front and then a little bit on my cheek like I normally do. Another topic of discussion around wrinkles is that people think not having wrinkles is going to make everyone think they're so much younger than they are. I don't think people in person look at people's faces as closely as they do on the internet at all. For example, I'm only mistaken as younger when I'm with people who are noticeably taller than me. For example, both my parents are over 5'11 and I'm 5'3. So at a glance, people always assume I'm their quite young child, like a teenage child who hasn't finished growing yet. And I have quite obvious lines on my forehead. I'm very expressive with my eyebrows, so I have like quite big fine lines on my forehead. They're not quite wrinkles, but they're not quite fine lines, they're like in between. And not once have I ever thought that someone wasn't IDing me because of my forehead lines. I wasn't ID'd because they trusted I'm over 18, because I I'm over 18. And personally, I work at a bar and the only reason I usually ID people is because of how they're acting or their drink order. It is never usually to do with how they look or how many wrinkles they have on their face. I also ID people if they've already got it in their hand because usually it means they're 18 and they're excited to use it. So the eyes are all done and I really like this makeup today. I think it just looks really cool and graphic. I'm just going to finish up with my lips. I'm going to do basically the same thing that I did on my eyes on my lips. So I'm going to go in with the darker purple, the lighter purple and then the black eyeliner. And then I'm going to finish everything off with some setting spray. My final point today is very simple. 
Aging is a privilege. It's a privilege to get to a point in which you have notable wrinkles, and I wish less people were scared of getting older. Teenagers especially. Trust me, if you're a teenager, life will never feel as hard or as easy as it does currently, and growing up is actually a really good thing. It's great to grow up, you can do so much more as you get older, and teenagehood is not that brilliant. A lot of bad things happen in teenagehood. Having the signs of a life well lived on your face is never a bad thing. But yeah, that is it for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and also liked my makeup look. I kind of did a very spider look today and I think it came out really cute and really cool. If you did enjoy this video, please give a like down below. Comment your thoughts on this discussion. Do you think wrinkles are good or bad? Do you like your wrinkles? Anything of the sort. Also, while you're down there, please hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every single week and I'd love to see you again. But until then, bye.